every now and then you see a profound interaction because it speaks to the heart of the matter on something. That's the case in front of you here. You see American McGee talking about the copyright claim system on YouTube, something that is inherently broken, and how they are having their material, I stress that, their material claimed by someone else. They tag in YouTube, and YouTube, well, they respond in only the way that a bot can respond, telling you, if you need help, maybe you should look elsewhere. So, hey there. So, today I want to return to that wonderful world of entertainment to talk about something that is not so wonderful, and that is the copyright claim system on YouTube. These things have gotten out of hand, too. Companies can come in, they can claim everything you do because of something that you actually own, and you have little to no recourse in actually answering that. That is insane, and that's what we're looking at here. Now, before we get into this, though, if you like this kind of content, you want to help an umbrella out, help us out with our interactions. That basically means subscribing to a channel. That means sharing videos if you find them to be useful, but also liking or commenting. As I said many times, if you get frustrated, you punch your keyboard, don't pause it with a space bar. No, I'm just kidding, and thank you in advance. So looking at this interaction, it starts out a little something like this. Hey, YouTube and YouTube gaming, I don't have time for this. These are Let's Play videos of my own game. IP owned by at EA being flagged by some shady Gustavo K9 Games. Is there a fix on the way, or are we supposed to go through and manually respond to all of these? Now again, looking at this, this is a person going through their own game. It's a property of EA, but still, this is their own thing. So, if they don't have the right to play this under YouTube, what exactly do you have the right to do? Now, you can see a problem in this as well. You see that a company went through. You notice all of these just dropping in here. And look at how fast they're being dropped. You have companies that do this for a living. And well, while this is being sorted out, if it gets sorted out, they will retain the rights to videos. They actually go in, they mon make money. So, of course, this system, it rewards that type of behavior. So, you see another post with this, too. So, uh, they tag in, the person that's doing that does a Let's Play of Alice Madness Returns, which is deemed original content. So, I get multiple copyright notifications on Let's Play videos of my own. Is this how the system is meant to to work Team YouTube and YouTube Gaming. Madness returns indeed. And that, it does address an issue out there. Even if a place is not trying to scam you, the system is still set up saying that the person that is acknowledged within the system to have probably played this before or have the most interaction, they own that game. Therefore, when you go through and you play it, they own that too. American McGee, well, <laughs> considering who this is, what game are being flagged. You see the Alice Madness Returns versus American McGee. That is their game. I mean, we cannot stress that enough. So you see the response here. The one that I would really like to bring up. Team YouTube. Thanks for bringing this to our attention. This is, of course, a bot answer. If you feel your video was claimed in error, you can dispute it here. We also have a handy guide for copyright content. Let us know if you have any other questions. So in this, you can go out and you can dispute it here. Well, you're going to have to dispute every single one of these videos every single one of them i mean can you imagine that because either the system is rife with an error or that somebody went out and intentionally is grabbing your stuff what's more as american mcgee points out here my name is on the box are you effing kidding me? Further proof we live in an idiocracy. You can see this, too. I mean, what happens when? But we see this with music all the time. We see it with all types of material. People putting together, you know, videos. I'm talking about actual movies and on. It's their source material. But still, for some reason, it's allowed to be claimed by others. And it's a hassle to get it back. I've seen artists talk about having their music claimed. In the old system, they could actually have their uh, their entire setup taken down because they made something original. Scammer company comes in and claims it, and well, the system is used against them. But yeah, looking at that, an American McGee game. You got your name on the box. What kind of proof do you need out there? People can respond to that too. You know, hey, plot twist, YouTube is the type of bots out there. You see them talking about this, and everybody knows that there is a problem here. 
Everybody knows it. Everybody understands that, well, this uh, system is being misused. <laughs> you know, YouTube, too. This is basically how it does look. You knew, uh, Yeah, no one will ever abuse this system of automatically transferring the monetization to the person making the copyright claim by uh, making a bot network. Creators are like, huh? YouTube is, uh, did you just read the policy? Hello? Yeah, this is not going to be misused at all, is it? And so on. People know that they there's a problem out there. Your name being on the box does not mean your copyright, which I assure you know. Do you own the copyright for this game, or is it owned by EA or some other rights holder? Of course, YouTube's whole system is screwed up regardless. You know, they, uh, they go in, they respond to that. They tell you that EA does have with that. But still, you know, uh, why, it's almost like I knew that and mentioned it previously and was using humor to highlight the ridiculous nature of this situation. But yeah, thanks for the reminder. While you're doing the rounds, maybe go remind Gustavo and illustrated sound music as well. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. And you can see how that stuff goes. It continues going there. Like I said, I think that this illustrates a huge problem with this system, meaning that you go out, you play a game, you have original content, you're having fun with it, it can be taken away. Only from certain people, though. If you're big enough out there, this system, it will work in your favor. But if you're not, if you're not indeed. So anyway, you tell me what you think about this stuff. How do you think it'll be sorted out, too? I'm curious how this will go. And they may actually have it work for them. But really, think about what this says for small creators out there. Hmm, that really doesn't bode well. But you tell me what you think. So closing this, I want to thank you for showing up. Thank you for your interaction here. You make these endeavors possible. That's what these places forget. Creators, they actually add things. So many of them, a myriad of great things. Communities, they make these things better. And well, platform, they can make these things fall apart. That's the sad reality of this stuff because they have forgotten who in powers endeavors. It's not them. It's the people that show up, the people that participate it, the people that make this stuff possible. If you'd like to help us out with interactions, like I said, there's different ways to do so, but you just showing up and spending time matters. So thank you for it. Leave your comments, pro and con, and as always, I appreciate you, and we'll do this again soon.